I'm Carlos Rosillo, CEO and co-founder of Bell & Ross and dear friend of Welco. Thank you so much for that introduction, Carlos. And so talk to us about what you have uh, today here. I think there's some BR05s that are looking pretty amazing because they're executed now in ceramic. Uh, blackboard inspiration, all black, to avoid the reflex. We had the instruments in black, ceramic, and five years ago we introduced the urban style with 05, but we needed to have a black ceramic. Here it is. The black ceramic 05, corresponding but with this satinated and polished which gives the feeling of a jewel, an urban jewel for the modernity. I love the contrast between the brushing and the high polishing. You know, it's funny, the only other brand that I see that has treated ceramic in this way is Audemars Piguet. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And eventually Chanel in the women's field. Yes. But you have to make that it looks a jewel, you need to work on the, the way you treat the, the ceramic, which is fantastic, with the brilliance not too shiny, polished and satinated. And the combination is not easy to make it, but when you realize, you have this feeling of a jewel of strength. Absolutely. Let's take a look at that. It's nice because it's a ceramic watch, but it's like everything from how we expected an all-black watch, which is usually just black, matte on black, on black, on black. You've got some really beautiful vertical yes. brushing here. Then you've got high polishing for the center links, for the bevels. And then you've got a black sunray finish dial. So actually, even though it's all black, the amount of luminosity you get, the amount of reflections of light, the contrast is really significant. Tell me, why all these details, sir? I cannot tell. You get it all we at the first glance. I mean, no, no, you're, you're absolutely right. It means that this is the beauty of this watch, that it's elegant, it's powerful, you keep the jewel aspect, and round in a square with four screws, which is the Bell & Ross signature. Uh, it was the missing link between the instrument and the urban style of the collection of uh, 05. Yeah. Okay, let's go from there to this execution, yeah. which has... This is the other side. <laughs> this is the other side. It's cool because you have more of a matte finish here, but you've got a super interesting dial and movement. Tell us a bit about this, Carlos. Yeah. This one, <laughs> okay. It's a little the opposite, much more technical. The matte finish and the, luminous, the skeleton aspect to show the movement, the beauty of the movement, but also the luminescence. Luminescence is a long story. We appreciate it because uh, since early days at Bell & Ross, we think that visibility during day and night is key. Luminescent has been an, an obsession. We have developed last year the X5 full loom with the case. Yeah, I love that watch, that's really cool. And here you have the loom effect on the, on the dial with the indexes and with the hands. Much more technical. This is a limited edition. And uh, of how many pieces? We have 999 pieces. Right. Very cool. And I like how you're playing with like a sense of like depth, yeah. regardless of what execution you have. And this is nice because the contrast between something very rugged and matte, mm -hmm. contrasted by this like very refined see-through dial, it's cool. I like the dynamic contrast. Okay, let's go from that to this version here, sir. That's the in between. The in between. The in between. Uh, you have here the skeleton but with this polished and satinated case. And here you have the in-depth with the movement, but with the casing, which is exactly the one you were just presenting first, and with the rubber band. So this is, uh, this is uh, in fact, in, to summarize, in the O5 ceramic, you have three execution, two bracelets, and you have whether you can see through with the skeleton movement or not. Tell us this a little one. bit about this really okay. cool X5. But function we at Bell and Ross we love functional design. We know we love Bohos, we love this German you know, feeling. And but as Peter Brun is saying, 
we make it with the French charm, with the creativity of Bruno. That's a good thing. It yeah. means that uh, what we wanted is with X5, we see the manufacturer movement, with the three days power reserve, the big date, the cask, the five years warranty. So you see it through the movement. But we wanted to make a full titanium case and bracelet, which is the X5 titanium, of course very light i mean in aeronautics in uh, in aviation i remember since many many time i mean long days uh, they have been using the titanium because it's a fantastic material and now with the x5 it was when we introduced the x5 two years ago we wanted to have something which was lightweight and titanium is fantastic for that Really cool iconography on the dial. I love the huge power reserve indicator. I mean, you're always keeping always the instrument vibe to watches, mm -hmm. even though you're making them now in a more elegant way. Yeah, yeah it's great on the wrist. The technical details, all the details of the casing, this very innovative uh, design, uh, which improves the lightweight of the, the, the feeling of the, yeah. It's a, it's a very technical piece, uh, yeah, yeah. Elevating the brand is also <laughs> through the materials. A little two-tone uh, action. By two-tone, right. by color, uh, with this uh, gray sun rail dial, very elegant. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, this is really the jeweler's trends that is optimized through the materials in this chronograph. Beautiful, let me put it on my wrist. So this is the chronograph version. Yeah. What size is the chronograph? 42 millimeters. In fact, actually, yeah, I didn't mention the sizes. <coughs> we have three sizes in the urban style. 40 millimeters for the steel ones, all five. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 41 millimeters for the GMT or for the X5. So this, is, for, this is 41, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, so yeah, 41, good. because for the black, it. this is why we dress black. Makes it slimmer. Look slimmer. <laughs> That's definitely the reason I'm a dust in black. Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah. Even my pajamas are black. Yeah, so yeah, when I, uh, right. I, I, didn't, I didn't think about that, but I'm going to have black pajamas. Oh, yeah, pajamas. it's important. It's but a, no, no, uh, 40, 41 millimeter for black. And then the chrono is 42 millimeters. I love that. It works now, with the, the, the feeling, The feeling. And I like this subtle shyness. Yeah. It's not, it's not all polished, satinated and polished. Carlos, last question for you. I noticed you've got the red thread symbolizing your membership to the Légion d'honneur. What was the induction ceremony like for you and what does it mean to be part of this organization? Hmm. Uh, I was introduced by uh, General because I believe that uh, in the army they have some strong values. And it was at Les Invalides, which is one of the most prestigious founded. Uh, uh, Légion d'honneur was created by Napoleon Bonaparte and Napoleon Bonaparte is buried in Les Invalides. So it was the most emblematic place to receive the Légion d'honneur by the commander who commands, who used to command Les Invalides and who is now the commander of Lord de la Libération who was created by Charles de Gaulle. So I was really blessed. And when they knew me, uh, I think they transmitted me some values which nice. is to have strong values, to believe in it, to stay focused to that. And, and yeah, it's a beautiful emblem. And this is why I'm wearing those sunglasses to match my Legion d'honneur. I love it, yeah, black and red, <laughs> gotta do it. Because we, we love fashion, so we, do we need fashion. to make this, this kind of a little twist. twist. Exactly. Yeah.